G'day guys, we are out here today at Hemet Skate Park. I need to set up a new board because in the last video I skated this drain and it pretty much just, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's enough cheese grater for me to not want to skate this board anymore. I have a brand new deck ready to set up. It's actually one of the boards that I screen printed. I don't know if you guys can see. So I'm going to set up a new board and then I'm going to get some skating done. New board setup video. Usually it takes me a while to pull my old trucks off my board, but today we have, we have power. Pow, 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 pow. Look at my grip. See, I got the correct grip. Pow, 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 pow. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my room. This is, we got the power. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, safety's on. Look at that. How fast was that? Pow, 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 right in the kisser. My nut fell, but it landed in the cuff of my pants. That's why you stay cuffed, never uncuff. Look at that, I've already got one truck done. That's how quick this process is. I definitely need some new hardware. Which one is my front? This is my front, yeah. I know it's my front truck because I put an F on it. There is an F on my truck because that is a front so I don't get confused. So the very next part of this process is to grip this bad boy up. Anybody that knows me personally or even if you watch my channel, you know that I hate gripping boards. I suck at gripping boards, so I've never got any better. I did bring a razor with me somewhere. There it is, wrapped it in bandage tape so I wouldn't cut my hand reaching into my bag. I don't know what size this is. I'm pretty sure this is like an 8.5 or an 8.38. I could be wrong. Pretty much between 838 to 85, that's what I skate. I've actually used water-based pigment or ink or whatever you want to call it to screen print on this. And I, I hit it with a clear coat. I just want to see how long the graphic lasts. And then from there, I'll decide if I want to screen print some more and put them up for sale for you guys if you guys want to support. It seems like everybody that screen prints skateboards on YouTube uses water-based. I mean, I know the hardcore dudes use like uh, NASDA. It's like a lacquer base, but I try to do that and the ink dried in the screen almost instantly. So yeah, it was not fun to work with. I have some evening grip tape, which you can get at eveningmob.com. I kind of like a yellow top sheet, honestly. I like, I really like a yellow top sheet. It just, yeah, something about a yellow top sheet that is exciting to me. Dude, I hate doing this part. It must be a texture thing, like something to do with my hands. Cause it roughs up the skin of your hands because I have such pretty little hands. I don't want to rough up the skin of my hands. We're going to peel this back right now and uh, Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna cut the end of the G. I'm just ruining this grip in the process. I'm trying to line it up in the center, but beggars cannot be choosers in this life, guys. You can't be a beggar if you wanna be a chooser. So this is pretty much my fate. And there's already creases and wrinkles in it. Look at it. <laughs> you know what I hate is when you get on your board after setting it up and then you, you feel it, an air bubble under your foot. It's very gross. Okay, that was really easy. I feel like the quicker you pull through and do it, it just works better. We're gonna speed run this, so let's make sure pop, 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 we're spinning the right way. Yep. Okay, um, we gotta do the diagonal pattern. Oh, shit, that's probably Whoops, I probably shouldn't have used a, uh, oh my God, that is in there. Uh, <laughs> how do I get it out? I've gone through like a layer of plier. I probably shouldn't have used a hammer drill. <laughs> I'm gonna speed run it next minute. Put a bolt halfway through my board. That's pretty much it, I think. Got the board all sorted.
If you guys remember, I tried to screen print some boards in a video a few ago and it didn't go too well because I had printed with NASDAQ 9700 series. So this stuff right here, this is the stuff I was using. And this stuff literally dries the second you get it out of the container. It clogged up my screen, my screen was done, and then I was left with some blemished prints. So some of the prints didn't come out too bad. This one didn't come out too bad. The evening is a little, little sketch, but they just progressively got worse. As you can see, I got like two or three good prints and then basically the evening was unreadable. But um, what I've done now is, this is one of the blems and I just took some black and just ran it straight over the top. This is water-based black. I basically did a test on the board. I just skated at Hemet that was with the water-based black and I put a bit of clear coat over the top and it seemed to work pretty well. Like I did board slides all day as you guys would have seen and it didn't like scratch the graphic at all. Like you can just see a faint kind of marking from the wax or the rail or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like blast straight over the blend boards with the water-based black and then clear coat them. But I still have like, I still have a bunch of like non-ruined boards. So this is a stack of like the non-ruined boards. Um, these are big boy sizes too, 8.8. .8. So I got some 8.8s that are, you know, non-printed on. And then I think the rest are like 8.5s or 8.38s or maybe 8.25s. Whoa, there's a ghost in the garage, but yeah. I'm gonna just blast over these two and yeah, hopefully, I mean, these can be sold as blemish pieces, I guess, but it kind of looks cool with the white and the black. I think I'm gonna definitely try to do like a two color kind of screen. Oh, there it goes again. Two color screen, so there's like a white and a black. I feel like it just pops so much more off the board and knowing what I know about water-based inks, definitely going water-based for the boards. How's that one? Oop. Not looking too bad at all. That black on top of the white, not gonna lie, it pops. So I'm gonna take that into consideration for the next set of decks that I print. We'll see how that goes. I just got another really decent print out. Oop. There's a ghost in this garage. Um, yeah, check it out. My hands are getting filthy, but check it out. That's not too bad at all. Another blam. Probably gonna take these to Hemet on Sunday. There's gonna be a Halloween jam. If you guys wanna see me screen print some more boards and you need to watch the next video, this is just a little teaser into uh, screen printing skateboards again. So make sure you watch the other video. These are actually looking super, super, super crispy in that five o'clock uh, golden hour. I almost said five o'clock shadow, but yeah. These are the blems I'm gonna have. So yeah, if you're a local, my plan is I'm gonna take some stuff to Hemet like some old evening shirts and hoodies that I'm just trying to get rid of, plus these blemished boards, and just sell them for like super duper cheap. And I'm sorry if you guys want to jump in on this and you're too late, but I'm going to be doing more of this stuff in the future. So if I get a large enough demand, I'll legit pull up at a skate park and just like sell stuff out the back of my car. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned. If you guys want to see me screen printing some more decks, Make sure you watch the following video after this one. Follow me on Instagram at Enochism. Follow Evening Mob at Evening Mob. Check out eveningmob.com. And yeah, cheers for watching. See you guys in the next one. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up. Don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger, man. Bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this trigger, man. Stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on. I called up another roadie on my flip phone. I want you to call down the Texas special order me a 1990 to a